Mohammed Said Abdul Kani. A former Central African Republic militia commander personally took part in the beating and mistreatment of prisoners, a prosecutor at the International Criminal Court said on Tuesday. Mohamed Saeed Abdul Kani was detained in January and faces accusations of war crimes and crimes against humanity committed in 2013. This is as straightforward a case as is likely to come before this court. Saeed was a Seleka faction commander. CAR has been mired in violence since Seleka, a coalition of mostly northern and predominantly Muslim rebels, seized power in March 2013, ousting President Francois Bozizé. Their brutal rule gave rise to opposing anti-Balaka Christian militias, several of whose former leaders also faced charges in The Hague. It's alleged that Saeed ran two detention centres at the time of the suspected offences. ICC prosecutor Karim Khan said there was no way he didn't know about the mistreatment of prisoners, who were suspected of supporting Bozizé. The hole below is the location where many of those unfortunate souls were placed in terrible conditions without toilet, food or any type of care. Literally standing above them was Mr. Said. We say that room and that area was his office. The evidence discloses that. He used to frequent it. And perhaps it's quite apt that literally standing on their heads, trampling on their dignity, stamping on their rights, he cannot plead ignorance. The smell was awful. The proximity could not have been closer. Defence lawyer Jennifer Nauri argued the detention centres were in a state of total disorganisation and that Saeed was not in charge. Dans un tel contexte de désordre, in such a context of disorder, it will be impossible for the prosecution to prove the existence of any policy of a state or organisation or any common plan. The ICC hearings end on Wednesday. Judges will then have 60 days to decide whether or not to confirm some or all of the 14 charges against Saeed, which include persecution and torture, and move the case closer to trial.